Welcome to Dales Bridge Campsite in North Yorkshire, England, where we spent two nights. If you keep watching the video, you'll discover how Hungarians prepare fried bacon, a traditional outdoor dish in Hungary that is essential to any Hungarian's life. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Situated on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales National Park, Dales Bridge Campsite is an ideal base for exploring the Three Peaks and the Forest of Bowland. The campsite offers various accommodation options, including an 8-bed self-catering lodge, a 150-pitch campsite, 8 bunkhouse cabins, and for glamping pods. Additionally, there is a bar, a pizza oven, and a shop on site. Campfires and barbecues are allowed in the campsite, but making a fire directly on the grass is prohibited. Everyone must provide their own fire pit. After setting up our fire pit, we explored the old Hoffman Line Kill and Stainforth Falls. Upon returning to the campsite, we started frying the bacon. The ingredients can vary according to taste, but the key element is undoubtedly fatty smoked bacon. It's crucial that the bacon is fatty as this allows the fat to drip onto the bread. You can also fry sausages, onions, or other vegetables alongside it. Simply place the ingredients on a skewer, then cut hollows into the bacon to facilitate easier drainage of the fat.
Bacon is tastiest when fried over embers, but it takes a long time, so many people start over the flames, just like us. Drop the fat on the bread from time to time. The result will be very delicious, and the smells while frying are so good that we become hungry from it. In Hungary, frying bacon has the same tradition as roasting marshmallows in America. This is the simplest food prepared on an open fire, usually made in a group of friends sitting around the fire, much like roasting marshmallows. However, as times change, the tradition of frying bacon is increasingly forgotten, replaced by grilled foods. In the past, this was an important activity at family or friend gatherings, with conversations often lasting into the night. The classic skewers were not the metal skewers that are often used today, but were carved with a pocket knife from branches gathered from under trees. The bacon was often fried in an improvised place or at the end of the yard. The technique of frying bacon reflects well on the characteristics of people. We can distinguish several types, the gid ahead, who has hardly even lit the fire, but is already frying the bacon. His bread will have hardly any fat, and his bacon will be burnt on the outside and raw on the inside. The precise one fries over ember, he will have an even spread of fat on his bread, and his bacon will be perfectly fried. The artist carefully arranges the vegetables on the bread, drops the fat in predetermined places, and in the end, his work is so perfect that he regrets eating it. The caring person helps everyone skewer the bacon and prepare the ingredients and is happy to hold your skewer while you go for a drink. And finally, the boss type, whose hand you never see with a skewer, yet always has perfectly <laughs> fried bacon and fatty bread from somewhere. Can you guess which types we are? Following our delightful dinner, we embarked on a leisurely stroll in the vicinity of the campsite, immersing ourselves in the tranquil surroundings as the day gracefully transitioned into evening. Good morning everyone. This marks our second day at Dales Bridge campsite. Today, we took a stroll along the Ingleborough Estate Nature Trail, where we also explored a cave. Later, we visited the town of Settle, which was hosting the Flowerpot Festival. 
In the upcoming videos, you'll find summaries of these experiences, as well as our visits to the waterfall and lime kill from the previous day. After our return to the campsite, we transformed the evening into a culinary adventure, crafting a delightful feast of succulent grilled meat paired harmoniously with a medley of crisp vegetables and fresh bread. In the evening, we took a pleasant walk to the nearby village of Austwick, immersed in the special atmosphere of the Yorkshire Dales. Austwick, a charming village situated on Ribblesdale, is only five miles from Settle and approximately a 20-minute walk from Dales Bridge campsite. The area boasts many cottages built from stone sourced from local quarries and features several delightful public spaces. About a quarter of Austwick's area is comprised of uncut moorland, making it a popular base for walkers and birdwatchers. There is a legend associated with the village involving a local man who fell into a deep pool on the moor. Rather than struggling to get out, he calmly uttered, the best at the bottom, and sank. This prompted his companions to jump in as well, and none of them were ever seen again.
As we bid farewell to our temporary haven, the time had come to dismantle the tent and return home. Reflecting on the past two days, we reveled in the enriching experiences this area had generously bestowed upon us. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and write your opinion in the comments. We hope you had fun. Have a nice day, and thank you for your attention.